Hello everybody, uh, my name is Aoife Redmond and I'm the Study Abroad Programme Manager for Social Sciences in UCD. Um, we are kicking off this session with a focus on social sciences and I'll also be doing an overview of um, UCD, uh, life on campus, cultural elements of your semester as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, just a reminder that at 12 p.m. your time, uh, my colleagues in business will be logging on to speak about their business study abroad program. And then at 1 p.m. your time, um, colleagues will be logging on to talk about the general study abroad experience at UCD. Um, I am recording this session and it will be shared with you uh, by your home advisors. And uh, yeah, let's just start off. I just need to share my screen and start our slideshow okay so uh, UCD, University College Dublin, and um, you'll see some writing there in what looks like an unusual language, that is Irish, and it says Fáilte Goherin, which means welcome to Ireland. Um, if you have a study abroad semester with us in UCD and in Dublin, you will see the Irish language absolutely everywhere, all over the city, all over campus, and uh, you'll get very used to seeing it all around the place. And as I said, I'm here to talk about uh, the study abroad programs and specifically social sciences. So to keep us uh, talking about Ireland, why Ireland is the question. And uh, we're here to tell you it's uh, the safe, one of the safest countries. It's listed as 10th on the Global Peace Index in 2018. Um, so it's a very safe country to be in. And you will not be alone if you come to do your study abroad experience with us, because we have a very young population with 50% being under 34 years of age. Uh, we're considered a very happy nation as well, and we are listed as 14th in the World Happiness Index in 2018 as well. And the map of Europe there that you'll see in the middle and Ireland way over on the left, we're essentially the gateway to European capitals. So if you spend a study abroad semester with us, Dublin and Dublin Airport is the gateway to flying off for city breaks and weekend breaks while you're here with us, all within um, safety guidelines with the ongoing situation with COVID, of course, um, but the opportunity is there to travel easily and takes a very, very short amount of time to get to Paris and Rome and Prague and all of these places that you'll want to visit. The seascape there and the cliffs that you see on the left-hand side, if you're familiar with uh, Harry Potter or the Princess Bride, they're featured in movies all the time. And uh, that they are the cliffs of Moher, and hopefully they're located on the west coast of Ireland and hopefully if you study with us for a semester you'll be able to go visit them and see them for yourself. And then why Dublin? Well, Dublin's a very accessible city. It's two hours from Galway, Cork, Limerick and Belfast. So basically again the same way we're the gateway to Europe, we're the gateway to the rest of the country as well. And you can visit all of the Irish cities in your new home, your new semester home, very very easily. Um, Dublin itself is flanked by beaches to the east and mountains to the south. So if you are an outdoors type of person, we have everything that you would be interested in. Like the previous slide said, we are the gateway to Europe and Dublin Airport serves most European capitals, all just a very short flight away. And Dublin itself is a very compact and easy to navigate city. It's walkable. We have great public transport options. And you'll see for yourself, I'm sure from in comparison to some of the places that you're from in the States, Dublin will feel very new and different, but you'll realise very quickly how small it is and how easy it is to get around. So I look forward to you finding that out when you arrive. And then the bottom picture there in the bottom left is our financial district and what looks like a party. It's not. It's our conference centre and it's just one of the more modern architectural features of our city centre landscape. A quick overview of UCD, um, we are Ireland's global university, we were founded in 1854, we're Ireland's largest and most diverse university and our beautiful campus is right on the doorstep of Dublin City, set on 350 acres uh, of land and 8 kilometres of woodland walks. That's a, a lovely view of the campus that you see there in front of you and as you can see it's very plush, you can see mountains in the background there. We have a lovely uh, pond feature fountain in the centre of campus as well. Lots of green spaces and it really is a lovely, beautiful campus and it doesn't feel too enclosed at all. 
We also have excellent facilities on campus. Uh, we have our gym facilities and student centre facilities, our study facilities. We have a, a doctor on site, a general practitioner clinic, a GP clinic. Uh, we have um, counselling uh, um, options as well, if that's what you need uh, during your semester, um, study spaces and a huge library and everything again on your doorstep. It's very easy to get from A to B to our different facilities on campus and uh, spending a semester with us again, just like Dublin, you'll realize that the UCD campus is very accessible as well. We're very proud of our UCD Student Centre. It has a swimming pool, sauna, jacuzzi, steam room, cinema, dance studios, debating chamber, gym and drama theatre. Again, a short stop away from your on-campus housing. Your gym membership is included as a student and then you pay a little bit extra to use the pool. It is an Olympic sized pool and I can say from experience, it is a wonderful facility. Uh, the cinema will have uh, movies running at regular times and in the evenings. And then also there's the debating chamber, which is a very exciting facility when we have guest speakers come to visit in particular. The UC Global Lounge, it's an event space for international students and it's home of the UC Global Guides. It really is a hub of activity and it is a meeting point for all international students who are doing study abroad, like you might be thinking about doing Erasmus, exchange, full degrees, people from all over the world. And it's a great spot to get to know other international students from different places. And also our global guides are there to help you with any aspect of your semester, be it things to do at the weekends or places to go or directions or anything that you may need. Our global guides are there to help you along the way. And then on campus housing, we have housing for over 3000 students on campus. All students stay in a private bedroom. I think sometimes in the States you share your bedroom. In UCD you will have your own private bedroom and then you will share obviously bathroom facilities with your apartment as well as a living room and kitchen area. Uh, our housing is fully serviced and sheets and bedding are provided. We also have food stores on campus, a laundry, a mini gym. Um, we have a restaurant as well that you can use but a lot of our students tend to cook together in their apartments and go grocery shopping together and all of that kind of thing. So it's a, a self-service apartment. And then we also have an extens extensive orientation and cultural and social program as part of your study abroad semester, it's all included. So when you arrive, you'll go to a study abroad orientation where you'll hear and be able to ask questions about all aspects of your study abroad experience. And we will then also break it down into academic advisory. So if you are a social sciences study abroad student, you'll be coming to my academic advisory session and we would also go through more questions in more detail at that point as well. And then throughout your 12 weeks at UCD, there's a culture and social program that is offered to you as part of your tuition fees. And that includes day trips away, evening events, weekends away, and somebody is doing all the work for you. They're organizing everything for you. They're taking care of all the logistics. All you have to do is sign up and show up. And it's a really great way to meet other study abroad students and get to know not only Dublin and the countryside, but parts of, of the country as well. And uh, in the fall semester, we have a Thanksgiving event. Uh, in the spring semester, we have a St. Patrick's Day event. So there's always something going on. It's a really good way to kind of get involved, get to know people. And like I say, UCD Global are doing the work for you. So that's one less thing for you to think about. I'm not going to go through this entire list, but the, this is a list of all of our um, clubs and societies currently on campus. So if there is something that you're interested in, I bet you will find a club or society that you can join and get involved on campus and in campus life. It's a great way to, to make friends and have fun. If there isn't a club or society listed here that you would want to join, then you can start one yourself. All the options are there. And like I say, a great way to meet people and get really involved in campus life. Of course, we're taking COVID-19 very, very seriously at UCD. Um, there'll be symptom checking at pre-departure and continued for two weeks after arrival. Uh, there will be clear messages on pub public health requirements and restrictions at check-in when you arrive on campus during orientation and right throughout the semester. As we all know on a global scale, COVID-19 is changing daily, weekly, in per country. So we will be giving you all of the um, public health updates for, our, for Dublin and Ireland um, during your semester as well. 
and there will be a student health briefing of course Another way that we are uh, promoting safety measures for during COVID-19 is um, letting students know about the COVID tracker app that you will be able to download when you're here. And that will also give you daily updates and um, advice and all the things that you need to know in order to stay safe. So I'm going to just fly through to social sciences. Um, as I said, I am the study abroad manager for UCD social sciences. So if you are choosing to come on your study abroad semester and you primarily want to study within archeology, span economics, education, geography, information communication studies, philosophy, politics, international relations, psychology, social policy, social work and social justice, or sociology, then social sciences is the home for you. One thing to let you guys know is that we do offer modules in psychology because the School of Psychology is housed in the social sciences. However, psychology modules are open to psychology majors only. And that's really, really something to keep in mind um, as you pursue your application. Ideally, when you're coming to social sciences, you're the kind of person who wants to gain understanding necessary for a wide range of careers across areas such as business, politics, the nonprofit sector and economics. And throughout your time with us, your ability to research and critically analyze information will place you in a very strong position when starting out on your career. As I say, there are 10 schools to choose from within social sciences. And if the majority of your modules and the choices that you're making fall under social sciences, it's also good to remember that there will be room for you to take one or two modules outside of social sciences, for example, perhaps in uh, business you might want to take one or two modules in the business school and you'll hear from my colleague at 12 o'clock on the business study abroad program so that that flexibility is there the majority of your modules must fall under social sciences as a social sciences study abroad student but there is wiggle room then for you to take one or two modules outside of social sciences as well you can take anywhere between four and six modules for your study abroad semester and I will be there and my colleagues will be there in our program office to help you through any questions that you might have, the application, um, module registration, all of the information that you need will come from the social sciences office, myself and my colleagues. Um, so we try and make everything as smooth as possible, as efficient as possible, enjoyable, and just make sure that you need to be um, where, you are, where you need to be for your semester to keep on track for your academics at home as well as for your time abroad so really bear that in mind there's a whole team of people ready to um, support you during your study abroad semester and make sure that you have everything that you need and um, i am going to fly through to our contact details So our application details, all of our information can be, find on, can be found online, pardon me, on how to apply. Our GPA requirement is 3.0. So we do require that you submit the most recent transcript that you have from your home university um, as part of your application. And then for application deadlines, which we are flexible on, we are able to extend the deadlines to a certain degree. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. For our fall semester, our semester one, or full year academic, uh, full academic year students, the application date is May 15th, so mid-May. And then for our spring cohorts, which are coming up very soon, the application date is October 25th, and those applications are still open. So if you are thinking about the spring semester and you are thinking about traveling abroad, do pop your application in when you have a chance and it will be reviewed by myself and my colleagues in social sciences. There's a whole list of study abroad program managers available per program. For me, myself, my details are there under social science. And we also have Ellen, who is in the Central Study Abroad office. And you can also contact her for details as well. So thank you all so much for taking the time to, to listen to our presentation on social sciences. Like I say, myself and my colleagues in the program office of social sciences at UCD are here to help you with every element of your study abroad experience from application to the day you fly home. And uh, I hope at that point you'll be missing Ireland greatly because you've had such a great semester and such a great time with us here at UCD. Um, I hope you are all well. I hope you're having a great day. Again, my business colleagues will be on at 12 p.m. your time.
uh, to talk about the business study abroad program and then there'll also be a general UCD uh, presentation at 1 p.m. your time and you'll be able to meet more colleagues from UCD then. Uh, again, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day and uh, I hope you are all well and I hope that you are all staying safe. Thank you.